Hey, it's Matt from Adventure Cruiser, and I think I'm going to start a brand new series today called How Not To. Follow along as I make some silly mistakes and what I do to rectify them. So, for the first episode, today we're going to talk about the Garmin Descent Mark II-I. My go-to dive computer has been an Oceanic OCI with integrated air, and I've used it for a great number of years all over the world, and it's been great. However, the battery dies every few months, and in the process of getting a new battery put in, stripped the screw, and it had to go back to the manufacturer for repair. Wouldn't come back in time for this trip to Indonesia, so I decided to buy a new one. So I got the Garmin Descent Mark II-I, and um, watched a lot of videos, read a lot on it. Uh, it is complex to set up. I'm not a Garmin watch guy. I've never had one that I really understood or used for any length of time. And um, so our first time entering the water was in a little lagoon with a bunch of stingless jellyfish. And the moment I entered the water, it entered dive mode, which is probably appropriate, but not having used it before, it kind of made me panic. And I thought, shoot, I don't want to build up nitrogen. I don't want this to count as a dive against me. So um, I entered gauge mode, which is the only other mode I've used. I used it in my pool. That was a mistake. Second thing I then did was try to enter apnea mode after thinking it through, because I thought, well, I'm technically free diving even though I'm not going very deep. Both poor decisions. Finished our snorkel, got ready for our next night dive, get my gear all ready, hop in the water, and my watch is stuck in gauge mode for another 19 hours. Once you enter gauge mode, you are stuck in gauge mode for 19 hours. Gauge mode is designed for pool training. It still adds up your total nitrogen, but it does not log a dive as a dive. So I um, did my dive in gauge mode. I had a backup computer with me. I'm using an old Cochrane that's just been tried and true. Great machine. And so I was still safe. After the dive, I went through the watch menus and I reset the tissues. Do not, I repeat, do not reset the tissues unless you are 100% certain that you will be safe. In my case, I had a backup dive computer, so I was going by that for my tissues. But after resetting my tissues, it did allow me to exit gauge mode. Um, so, lesson, don't enter gauge mode if you think you're going to be scuba diving within the next 24 hours, because you will be locked out for 24 hours. Second, Test your gear before you go to Indonesia. <laughs> oh well, lesson learned, no harm, no foul, but it's been a couple of days, couple of dives. Um, oh, oh, here's the bigger issue. So I also set it to pool mode when I was in with the jellyfish because I figured pool mode, it's not gonna count against me. I did not know that you need to take it out of pool mode. So then after I reset the tissues and I was using it as a proper gauge, it was still stuck in pool mode for my next two dives. And so those didn't get logged either. And I wasn't alerted until I was down on the dive and I didn't know how to undo that. So don't put it in gauge mode if you're gonna go diving in the same day. Don't put it in pool mode without remembering to take it out of pool mode and then go diving. Well, my mistake guys, Lesson learned. Let's hope I don't make that one again. Take care.